BT Passive was established some six years ago, uh, where I looked at the whole building process and wanted to come up with a way of delivering a build system that basically created a continuous insulating envelope around any building shape. Um, we looked at different materials and how we do done that, and we came up with a very simple timber frame. I was using that way. <laughs> and the simple timber frame can be made anywhere by anybody. Um, it requires two bits of four for two six nails and, and pieces of nine millimetre ply. We've got kids in uh, Coventry, um, in Scotland, uh, in uh, Birmingham, making up the houses to actually build new passive houses. So it's a skill that can be done, it's a very, very nice skill that can be done anywhere across the UK and the world. What it does, it creates a, a void that goes under the floor, up the walls, and across the ceiling in a cold room and up the roof slope into a wall roof. So whatever your envelope is, whatever you live in, BT Passive will give a constructure uh, which is then insulated and everyone is then tested. So everyone is heated up to 40 degrees, left for four hours and then thermal imaged to make sure there's no gaps in the insulation anywhere. Everyone is air tightness tested and everyone is sound tested. And because we were looking at the overall build process, we looked at raising the standards of buildings. So our fire between dwellings is two hours instead of one hour. Our, so our sound between dwellings, instead of being 45 dB, is actually 57 dB. That's six times better than current building rates. As we all know in passive house, you're going to get a 90% reduction of your energy costs if you build to passive house. And by building this way, it's a very simple, cost-effective way of building any shape from a small social house into a mega house like the one on the left here, um, where the architect's actually over the corner there, Tim, uh, where we've got a, a 800 square metre house with no real heating system. It's got an air source heat pump and some mats in the, um, in the shower rooms, electric mats, but it's the only heating that that building has. It never goes below 18 degrees, never has been below, and never overheats more than 21, 22 degrees. So it's a very, very uh, efficient way of building. What we've got more problems with is our existing stock. So how do we take the technology we've got here and move it onto the existing housing stock? We've got 20 million houses that we're going to need to retrofit over the next 20, 30 years. And we're not even starting yet. So BT Passive then looked at how we're going to create the same sort of format around an existing building. So what we've done, we looked at the existing format. How do we get a new building structure to actually take the weight of a new building over top? Now if you think of it, this is a 1950s bungalow. It's ugly, it leaks like a sieve, and when you come on to think about buying it, you think, oh no, I wouldn't buy that. But if you've got that, and I said to you, right, just imagine the house that you want. We don't have to worry about what's there now, we're going to be thinking about what I want to see. So one of the ways we're doing it in Solihull is to take a very simple, same member as we talked about for the new build, and in Solihull we're doing a block of flats where we've got some uh, disadvantaged children who have built all the sticks in Birmingham and we're going to create a new shoe onto the foundations. We're going to put an airtight layer over the existing building so everything that's damp, mouldy, rubbish all gets to the warm side of the building with no contact with the cold outside so we reduce completely all the condensation risks and any mould and transfer we've got. We then take one of our sticks and we drop that very simply into the building. And it doesn't matter, as I said before, it doesn't matter what shape. This roof could go to be in a butterfly roof. We could extend and put a porch on. So we've actually taken an existing building with the existing services and now transforming that into a really modern building. The next stage of BT Pass is if we've taken the stick building and we've now made it into the passive factory. And some of you will hear about the Passive Factory if you follow BT Passive very soon. Where we're actually manufacturing the panels and then we're going to be coming in to site, filling them up again and then testing them. But with a complete build process. So if I'm going to ask Paul to give me a hand, I'll just show you how the ret system. retrofit work. Again, panels will be made in the factory. Paul can make the noise of a crane. They'll be lifted up. Right. and dropped into position, That's bad news. the DPM will then be flipped up and come underneath. 
fish like that. We then take the remove module. That then comes up. Pulls long enough, I'm sure it is. And drops in. We then think about ventilation because what we've got in an existing building is we've got a few little trickle vents above your windows and what we're going to do is make this house very, very airtight and energy efficient. So what we then do is we introduce heat recovery ventilation within the structure. This then goes around the external part of the frame and just punches in to the existing building. So we haven't got to move people out, they all stay in residence, all we need to do is we put a new window on the outside in this frame, we then go inside, take the old window out. So within a day, you can transform that process. You drill a hole into the lounge or into the bathroom and insert the MVHR system. The box for the MVHR is external, so that keeps everything outside the element, all within the heated, insulated envelope. A very, very simple process that will be very soon to go into a factory operated process where they will be 3D, um, 3D imaged and, and surveyed and then this will be made the factory trained on top and then injected. Unlike many systems, because we've created a continuous void around the whole building, we can guarantee there will be no joints. When you get a normal panel system, you're butting things together and whenever you get a 3 millimeter gap, you're going to get a, a redu reduction in your U value of up to 159% in that one little gap. Now you can imagine how many gaps you've got when we normally build. If you ever go around a building site and look at when the bricklayer's doing a really good job, he's butting things together. If a carpenter's cut his insulation between rafters, it's like that. You can't help it. But with BT Passive, it's a continuing insulated envelope with no joints. So a very, very simple build process. The key to it also is how we regenerate communities. And by able to do this locally throughout the UK, and we've got patents in 57 countries, we can actually develop that further. So it's a very, very simple system to do.